G'day skate champions and welcome to Skate Timber Day 11. Today I've uh, brought the little mani pad with nothing underneath it, just a two and a half centimeter tabletop to work on the half cab. And we're at this little basketball court, I think this is gonna be the perfect location to practice this and take it to that little bit of a next level and get onto this platform. Big question here is why I didn't choose the fakie front side 180 uh, instead of this one. And that is a very, very good question. Similar to the Nolly Shove It, um, I could have done the fakey shove, but I just wanted to kind of just push it that little bit extra and uh, and do it the, the more difficult way around, or I perceive as a more difficult way around. So I worked on um, my fakey ollies to sort of warm up a lot here until I kind of felt a little bit comfortable with them, knowing perfectly well that they were going to aid me uh, in this sort of trick. And then I did the fakey front side 180s, and they were a little bit off, and I was like, damn, maybe I should have picked this one. Tried both those onto the Manny. But yeah, I think just adding that little bit of something adds the element of having to get your timing right and uh, and making sure that you are lifting your wheels up just that tiny little bit. So with those out of the way, let's uh, let's move on to the half cabs. So I'm pretty impressed by the way I started this trick because I thought, like as usual in the past, I'm gonna find this a little bit more difficult, but being pressed the time in the middle of skate timber, I was really like, really trying to get them, get that rotation. Then start working on that height. Um, I know it's not very high, um, but for me just to kind of get that motion in play where I can just sort of like try and get my back wheels up off the um, ground and rotate them and land sort of flat without tic-tacking or off balance. Um, it's a continuous piece of work that I've got to work on, but uh, I'm pretty happy actually. Now let's uh, take it up to this uh, little mani pad. I think I'm gonna be a little bit scared. So as I predicted, the um, the fear factor was definitely there, even in these, this little, little mani pad. Just that timing, getting that right. Um, but it was, it was nice having the mani pad because of the height and the actual um, width of it to try and kind of line myself up as best I could with this trick. It's funny how this trick being the, like sort of like the revert uh, where you're facing forward as you turn around should be easier. And I think maybe some people do, but for me, I don't. And uh, this was a real good challenge for me. I got a couple uh, in a row and then, you know, just started working on that height of the, um, of the ollie, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't really going my way. Every time I do it, I just probably stomp a bit too um, awkwardly and couldn't sort of roll away with it. But yeah, but the number that I did get, I'm pretty pleased with. Issues being just where your feet placement were and obviously the shoulders like over rotating was quite an issue. It's not gonna win any skateboarding awards, but I'm pretty happy with this. Now I just wanna see if I can do like a fakey ollie and then a half cab off, just to see, you know? The trouble going into this was that I had to get enough speed to get that fakey ollie on and then the platform was way too short for me to get my feet back into position. But this was a really good exercise in terms of just like getting those fakey ollies and trying to uh, kind of land in a good direction um, with good pace, with um, your feet in the right positioning on the board to do something else. The ones I did get were definitely just like reverts off. There was no ollie, um, but I'm pretty pleased. That's pretty good. But I've never ever done any of these tricks onto anything before. So, you know, this is what Skate Tamper is all about. Just getting these tricks and kind of getting something out of them for yourself at your own level. And this is definitely my level for this. Um, it shows that my flat ground needs a lot more work. But that's it for today. Remember to keep skating, keep having fun, and of course, Keep progressing. Take it easy, legends. Oh man, this wind is crazy.